Hello and welcome to another update video about Coinbase. Yeah, Coinbase, uh, Coinbase's chart is likely still caught in a correction. So we want to talk about the two scenarios that we're tracking here on the Coinbase chart. Pretty much still in line with previous updates. I think the microstructures have shifted a bit, but the main support areas remain unchanged and the main structure remains unchanged. So the white scenario, which I slightly prefer actually, is indicating that we're moving up in a diagonal pattern in which the wave one completed from the all time low yeah, from the December 22 low wave one completed in July 23 around $113, 115 rather. And then we had a wave two pullback, which bottomed at around you know, $70. That was in September 23, October 23. We had a third wave. You see, these are all three wave movements. So we're dealing likely with a diagonal pattern, which we can then call wave one. Yeah. But um, okay, we have three waves up in wave three. It is possible that wave four bottomed is certainly large enough. And then we might have started wave five to the upside. The current pullback will tell us the truth, probably. Um, and then once we get to $420 or so, that is an ideal target I'd actually like to see, then we can start a major correction. That's at the moment the white scenarios roadmap. There is a short term more bearish scenario, unfortunately, which would provide better entry prices, but can take a while until this correction is complete in the yellow scenario. In this scenario, then we have a five wave move up already complete one, two, three four five can be in, yeah can be counted like that absolutely i mean that's the problem with these diagonal patterns yeah they are there is a little bit of um flexibility when it comes to to interpreting them so and then this was an a wave down which bottomed in september a b wave up and we're now moving down in wave c now that is not the preferred scenario in this scenario however we could go down as low as 50 dollars without changing the overall pattern so there is high risk there but they get, again you know white is currently preferred don't think yellow is unlikely no 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 it's i only show you likely scenarios it should follow one of them but the thing is um that it's it's we're dealing with a diagonal pattern so the market isn't moving up in an impulsive fashion however as i said i'm, I'm focusing on the white count until the evidence for yellow is really really strong so in the white scenario whoops we can even we, we, we can say that, okay, we have a support area here, which is the larger orange box. The price already reversed, right? And we had a rally from around about 145 to $220. That's pretty decent. So the price reacted a couple of times to this trend reversal area. And, um, you know, I, I took out, the I, I removed the levels here, indicating, you know, anybody who used this area to maybe find a position, you know, it, it, it can be reasonable to to uh, protect your gains or something, right? It's, it, it makes sense to lock in some profits because the rally is corrective. The rally to the upside was a three wave move. So we have a three wave move down, but the problem is if this is the fifth wave, it's anyway, it's going to be only an ABC structure because we're dealing with a larger diagonal. Now the big problem is that ABC structures are not clearly bullish, okay? So if the, if the A wave is a three wave move, there's no way I could confirm that really the next move up has started. If it's a three wave move, it can also be the yellow B wave, which again then makes us focus just on the levels because it's all about reward and risk in that case. Okay, because probabilities are fairly balanced until we really see strong evidence that the white count is unfolding to the upside, but it will take a while to confirm that. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see that the A wave of that fifth wave likely formed the three wave top. We're now moving down in a three wave move as a WXY structure and we could be in the late stages of wave Y. We might see maybe one more low in the micro level here, but then could see a turnaround at around $171 or 160. So that's something to watch for. Um, next week, next couple of weeks, it will be important to observe this area here and to watch if the market can turn around before breaking below $160 because a sustained break below $160 would already shift probability slightly towards the yellow count because it would indicate weakness. But bear in mind, we're dealing with a B wave pullback and B waves are difficult to predict. They can sometimes go a little bit deeper than support, than ideal support. Um, they just have, they are just more varied really, right? 
And if this is a B wave pullback, then we shouldn't be surprised if it goes a little bit lower than 160. But the invalidation point is the September low and that's located at 140, 146. So I think it's very clear. I mean, at the moment, um, it might be wise to wait for a reaction first before going into aggressive long trades. I mean, that's up to you, right? But from a chart point of view, we are still in a sell off. We are still in a correction, which started here around the 21st of October, um, 18th of October. Um, this could have even been a B wave top, so the risk is high. The pullback is not finished yet, not clearly at least. And um, it always depends, you know, if you are a bit more of an aggressive trader, you might already look for a long entries in this area to trade the C wave. Others who are a little bit more conservative, maybe careful, want to wait for a one, two setup to the upside because the C wave would be a five wave move. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, if we get the first wave up and then the subsequent wave to pullback should be a good entry point. That would at the same time give us clearer probabilities. So that's the update about Coinbase. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out the stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. There are different tiers. So in the higher tiers, you can even request charts or get additional updates. Coinbase is often covered in the advanced membership or higher. Um, you can get live chart access depending on your tier and you get daily video updates about the S&P 500 and regular stocks updates. So feel free to check it out. Link in the video description. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.